Warning, this video contains explicit camping. If you or anyone you know tends to get suicidal thoughts, thoughts from watching campish gameplay, please refrain from watching this video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Corrupt. I'm psyched to be bringing you guys this commentary. I've actually been wanting to do this exact commentary for quite a while now, and um, I've been waiting to get the perfect gameplay for it. And as you guys know in that Season 3, Episode 2 uh, um, of Improving Your Game and Domination, I talked about spawn trapping. And essentially what this gameplay is, is this is a textbook spawn trap. This is exactly what spawn trapping is meant to be like. So you can see off the spawn, we already knew what flags we wanted. This is the interchange spawn trap, and on interchange you want to get C and B and spawn trap them at A. The main reason this is such an easy spawn trap, guys, is because there's only three alleyways they can do they can go to escape A. So as long as nobody pushes into those three alleys and we just watch them, they can't actually get out. So in this video, I'm pretty much going to be explaining to you guys exactly how to get into a spawn trap and exactly how to get out of a spawn trap because both of those are extremely useful pieces of information. So first, let's go over the, the more important part, or more important in my opinion at least, and that's how to get into a spawn trap. First off, you're going to need six people because even one person can ruin the spawn trap because if you get too close to the spawns, your, the spawn trap is ruined. So right now you'll see we have a party of six. We're all using tack inserts, or I think all of us are using tack inserts, and we're all getting all set up. All right, we we're going to split this 2-2-2, two, 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 but the guy to my left kind of had that area closed down, but just now he called out for help, so I, I rotated over. You're going to need to have good communication as well, because if one person goes out, goes down, and loses their spot, somebody else has to be able to cover their flank until they can get back to where they need to be. Whether that be just simply dropping their tack again and jumping up back to their head glitch, or whether that be coming back from the other side of the map wherever they spawn. And essentially, once you're set up, all you gotta do is just sort of pick people off. That's really all you're doing, is you're just staying there f until the end of the game, just picking people off. You can see right here, this game's still going on, and I'm prone facing the exact same direction for a while. So yes, this is very campish, I do apologize for that. But that's how it works. You know, I even have a class that I'm using overkilled with two light machine guns on it. And that's insane. Nobody would ever do that. The main reason I'm doing it is because I'm trying to get both of them gold. So that's the main reason I would do it. Instead, usually I would rather run scavenger with one light machine gun or scavenger with an assault rifle. But the same, the same concept applies here of what I'm doing. So you'll notice I'm also running marksman. This is also in bare bones to take note. So... Um, a lot of people have been leaving comments like, why don't you use killstreaks? It's not that I'm not using the killstreaks, it's in barebones though, and barebones there is no killstreaks, so even if I have killstreaks selected, it doesn't matter. Alright, so guys, this is pretty much how you get into a spawn trap. Once you have everybody set up, it's very simple, and getting set up is very easy. So now let me jump into the much, um, probably one of the more notable parts of this video, one of the spots that are probably more useful, because get getting into a spawn trap is fairly easy it takes a little while but once you're in it you're you're fine getting out of a spawn trap that takes a while it's not something you can quickly do and essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try and help your team to get out because usually when you're getting spawn trapped you're not in a full team usually full teams can get out of spawn traps what you're going to want to be doing is you're going to want to essentially have recon on a class and you're going to want to be throwing flashbangs you see they just killed me because i was flashed with re if they had recon on they would know exactly where i am Essentially, you're going to want to be using the newbiest stuff. I would recommend recon, flashbangs, and a Type 95. A Type 95, maybe throw a small onto that as well. Because you want to be wrecking these kids. You just want to get the, get, you just want to cause a break in their spawn trap. Because li like you've noticed, we have it set up 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Which means we have two people watching this left side, two people watching the middle, and two people watching the right side. You'll see they just capped C, but our teammates ro rotated back, so it's all, we, we lost the spawn trap just for a split second. But you can see we... Um, we, you know, handled it, and there we go. And you'll see, I just noticed my teammate died, so I reacted, and I killed the guy, and now we're holding the spawn trap again, and I don't think we lose it at all for the rest of the game. So, we're all good here. But to break out of a spawn trap, what you, essentially what you're going to need to do is just form a hole in the spawn trap. Like I said, we're set up 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. So if any two of us go out, this, there's a hole in the spawn trap, the enemies can break out and hit us from the side, go around and cap flags, all sorts of different things. So that's how it's got to be set up. So essentially, you're just looking to break a spawn trap. You're not looking to pick off the entire enemy team. So throw recon on, throw a type 95 on, throw a small on, throw newbie, noob, noob, noob stuff. Get the, like, throw C4 on, I don't care. But what you want to do is you essentially are, like I said, you're just trying to break a hole in the spawn trap. 
So, like, so pretty much, it's fairly easy. You could see, like, putting damage in your opponents. If that guy had recon on, now their whole team knows where I am, and all that. If he had recon on, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he did or not. But, and then essentially, what what's happening is, even if you're alone, because you're using a recon, recon's pretty much like the anti spawn trap in this game. You'll be able to break out pretty fast. Also, I would recommend throwing on assassin because. With Assassin, it doesn't matter, uh, even if they have Marksman, you'll still be able to break out of the spawn trap because they won't notice that it's you right away. And even if they get a UAV up, if you're in regular domination or an advanced UAV, they won't be able to see you. So you'll, you'll be able to just kind of hide and get around behind them nice and easy. So that's pretty much the core of this video, guys. I just explained pretty much how to get into a spawn trap fairly easy, get a party of six, uh, push the opponents back to one flag, and then just get set up. This is a pretty great example of that. And then, how to get out of a spawn trap? It's pretty simple. Throw a recon on, throw some flashbangs, use some noob weapons, and just make sure you're hitting your shots. It doesn't get much easier than that, guys. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this this video. And for the rest of this, I just want to talk about a couple of uh, things relating to, you know, my personal life, things like that. So, for one, um, I actually just got a job. I actually stayed home from school today. And about 20 minutes ago, I got a call, uh, I got a call from an old windsurfing instructor of mine. And... Uh, for those of you who don't know, the, the town that I live in offers some, like, you know, s classes and camps and stuff over the summer, you know, like basketball camp or day camp and, you know, all those things. And one of the camps that I used to go to, or I actually, I went to it last year, I went to it all, like, for the past, like, five or six years was a windsurfing camp. And it was just something I did for, like, three or four hours a day, you know, I went and windsurfed and it was a lot of fun. I learned how to do it. And, um, yeah, so uh, I got a call from the guy and I actually got offered a job to work there. So that was pretty legit. And, um... So, you know, now I got a job over the summer, which is going to be pretty fun. You know, I'll be, I, I, I'll still be able to bring you guys a great deal of commentaries and all that stuff, you know, as always. I, I always love doing that. And, um, what's it called? So I've been doing, I've been working on that. There's a couple other things I've been doing. Um, I started playing, I actually, no, never mind. I, I, I was going to say I started playing RuneScape again, but I kind of stopped. So I only started that for a couple days, got bored of it. And, uh, and yeah, so I've been playing Call of Duty a lot, you guys know that. Um, that. Thankfully, I now have all the assault rifles and submachine guns gold, so I'm just sort of enjoying the the benefits of having all these gold and just running around using whatever gun I want. You know, I still use the light machine guns when when I want, but um, for the most part, I'm just sort of relaxing. And that's that, that's also an important part of the game, is just to uh, to, to learn to relax. And, and yeah, because, that, it, like I said, it's just a game. So a couple other things I want to talk about. Um, 402 resigned. Uh, I figured this is a, a pretty, you know, a lot of YouTube commentators touched on this, so I figure I'll uh, give my two cents in on that. And that's, um, you know, 402 did a good job. He, he's got one of the most undesirable jobs in the world, because it's just like, his job was to take all the crap from the um, Call of Duty community and relay it to his superiors, and have, or relay it to the rest of Infinity Ward and have them fix it. And if they don't fix it, he gets all the crap for it. Or if they fix it incorrectly, he gets all the crap for it. So he kind of got blamed for everything that went wrong in Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I don't know if he was the, the community manager in, or the creative specialist, strategist, whatever, in COD 4. But, you know, he gets all the crap for everything bad that happened. I actually think he did an okay job. Um, you know, for the position he's in, for the job that he did is in, I think he did a good job. Also, that's another thing, guys. Smoke grenades can be useful for breaking out of small traps, but like I said, it's nothing compared to recon being able to blind your opponents and know exactly where they are. You'll notice even I was using recon this game. But, um, yeah, so, pretty much, guys, I think 402 did a great job. Um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about what how 402 did as in his position, in his job. Do you think he w lived up to his job description, or do you think he kind of slacked off a little bit and could have done a better job? It really comes down to the community's perception of it. Um, but I think he did a good job. I think that, um, you know, he'll do great in whatever job he gets in the future. And I think, and you know, I wish the best of luck to whoever gets um, the new job at Infinity War. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know if this helped you in any way. If you didn't like the video, again, I like to ask my subscribers and my viewers to please leave a comment and let me know what you didn't like so that I can change that in the future. Anyway, guys, this is a look at the scores on this board. We all did pretty well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.